So a lot of people get angry with you. It could be strangers, you know, people online, your family, your friends, your lovers. They get mad at you because you're not living on the matrix law. They're mad that you slipped through the cracks. You have to understand that in order for the matrix to work, everyone has to be on a slave consciousness. There has to be losers and winners. There have to be people who's at the bottom and who's at the top. Even your elites, the ones who created the matrix system, they're, they're not living with matrix law. They're living with spiritual law. So they've already tapped in. They know spiritual law. Some of them into, you know, the cult, you know, Satanism, astrology, uh, science, you name it. They're able to travel in and out of dimensions, consciousness, right? Those of you who live in a matrix system, subconsciously, when you look at people, you are seeing a point system. It's like an imaginary point system. So when you're at work or you're walking down the street or you're at church or you're getting to know people, you're online, you're on a dating app. There's this point system. It's a subconscious point system, right? And you can always tell who live by matrix law by the way they talk, okay? Pay attention. These are the people who are, like, scared who are going to be the next president. They're scared of the pandemic. They're scared of war. They're scared of change, right? They're scared of, like, oh, my gosh, am I going to have SSI? Am I going to have a 401k in the future? These are the individuals who are living by matrix law, They'll even be going to church and swear they're living by spiritual law, but they're not. Even the, even the church, even religion is all part of the matrix system is to keep you in a slave mentality. So there's this imaginary point system that's floating over your head, right? So when people see you, they give you a score, right? So if you see someone and it's like, oh, they're fat, oh, they get two points, Oh, they're black and they're dark skinned. They have four, five points, right? Oh, they're uh, black and rich. They have 500 points. Oh, they're white and rich. They have 1 million points. You get the drift? So people are all watching you and they're looking at your score. They're looking at your number because in the matrix, they told you, if you're white, you'll get this. If you're blonde with blue eyes, you'll get this. If you are skinny, you'll get this. If you're rich, you'll get this. If you um, are fine, you're attractive, you'll get this, right? So when people realize that that has only to do with the consciousness of what they trapped you and programmed you in, and they see like a fat person marrying a physically fit person, attractive person, successful person, they get angry. In order for the matrix to work, they have to have everyone following the same rules. So they get angry when they see like a fat person become successful, a black person become successful. Um, people are slipping out of the cracks of the matrix and they're showing you that it is possible. They get pissed. No, 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 no. You're ugly. You're not supposed to have an attractive partner. No, no, no. You're black. You're not supposed to be a billionaire. What's going on? The matrix said you're not supposed to have this. You have to follow the matrix rules. They get pissed. So this is why you can't have certain conversations with people. This is why people start to hate on you or try to kill you or try to harm you because you're not following the matrix rules. People who start to break out of this consciousness, you know, they start growing their food, they go live off the grid, they're not afraid of the government, they start motivating people. This is also where this term, the chosen ones, come from, right? And these are selected few. This is why it's not a whole bunch of them, right? There are certain individuals who are specifically chosen, right? They're not going to have a whole bunch of people. They're going to have one person in that bloodline or one person at that particular church, one person who's in the government who is going to shine light on the matrix. These are the ones who crack the matrix. And this is why they have so many agents in the spirit realm and in the physical realm trying to stop these individuals from putting you on game of what's going on. Your favorite celebrities, your favorite rappers, your favorite actors and actresses, your favorite pastors, your favorite, um, anyone who's famous pretty much, they're not living in the matrix. They live on most of the time, spiritual law. They've tapped into all of that. 
things that they're hiding from you. But they do tell you in plain sight because they have to tell you what they're doing to you. This is why they're always showing you in books, in movies, in television. They have to tell you before or what they're doing to you. But they're not going to come out and say, hey, we're poisoning your food. Hey, we're poisoning your water. Hey, uh, you know you can do this too. You know you can actually manifest. So when you are a person who is not living in the matrix, you're able to manifest money quick. You're able to make money with your talents. You cannot purchase talent. This is why you see in the matrix, there's people who are talentless and they're making money. That's the matrix rules. All you have to do is be attractive. But in the, in the spiritual realm, you have to be talented. You have to have a pure heart. You have to be kind in order to get to that next dimension when you leave here, in order to not end up in the hell state. But they're never going to tell you that. So it's all in the consciousness. It, you can do anything you want to. And yes, even those who are not living on the matrix law, we are impacted um, sometimes through like maybe government things that happen to us or like whether things can occur and, you know, you know, we might end up getting hurt or die or something like that. But we know that you never really die. <laughs> you know that energy never dies. Right. So it's all part of uh, what you're supposed to be doing here on the planet. So understand that you can always tell who is living that matrix lifestyle. They will always speak as if they're trying to convince you of something. They will always speak fear into you. So which law are you living by? The matrix law or the spiritual law?